Another short 50 meter drop here. The MPT is there. I'm gonna set up my ladder just now. The drop is uncoiled and uh, it's gonna be self supported pole to pole because there is no strand. Uh, going to that pole, then uh, Buddy setting up the ladder to get over to the mast. Should be quick and easy. So let's get her done. It always happens, I always overthrow. There we go. Pull. Um, go ahead and pull. We have to, yeah, keep pulling. So you'll you'll see me throw it over these lines so that I'm on top of them. You're good there. I'm gonna come off on this side of the pole. Down. First thing you want to do is just feed it. See that you're in good shape there. These lines are really tight. That's that's not good. That's why it's no bueno to put an anchor here. This uh, this is not needed. It's just in the way and doesn't allow these lines to move freely. Okay. First things first. Looks like we're in port six. Let's open that up. This nap is pretty neat. I don't think I've ever been off this nap. Arrow down. And then we're gonna go right in. Now, cut away these zip ties. Two, three, but new zip ties. One, two, and three. Now that we're up here, this is looking really congested. Don't think I can fit my drop in there. Unfortunately, let's try it. No, not worth it. So, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna cut away this Deltec. I'm gonna loosen this clamp. See if I can move it over. I'm gonna do this as well. There we go. I'm gonna put a new clamp. Beauty. Now I can get my drop in there. Hopefully without damaging anything. Beautiful. Looks good. Should be able to fit my drop in here now. Beauty. Okay. So now I just need my clamp. Come off. Pass that there. Do my loop and hanger. And there we go. So this line is going to be self supported. There is a strand there um, that I could use. I might come off of that strand over near that pole. But for now, it's just going to be self supported. And there we go. Loop is nice. You can go straight to that pole. We're over top of these lines. This is whatever that is. And I'm just gonna put a tag, take some pictures, and then see you at the next pole. So we're over at the other side. This is a very loose strand, but... Oh, sure, it'll be fine. Come off right there. Put a clampy. Yep, right here on a 90 degree. So I get a hanger. Make sure the drop is straight.
Looks good there. Go a little tighter. Happy with that. Beauty. Send that drop up. Get the drop through there. Do your loop. So a lot of you love to ask me why I don't come off the pole and put a J-hook. As you can tell, all of the lines come off the strand. That's just how we do things here. If I needed clearance, I would go up off the pole and I'm not trying to deal with all of this congestion just to get to the pole. This is just really whack. This needs to be tightened. Um, so this is good enough. And I want to always try to come off on a 90 degree angle to the building I'm going to. That's what I always try to strive for. Um, it can be tough when there's an existing line that was done haphazardly and uh whatever but mine is the one that matters in this moment so i'm gonna zip tie this make sure it doesn't fall off and we're off to the house dealing with a little bit of an issue um it has an existing ceramic uh anchor point which could work it is a one inch my hanger could fit in there but it's uh not ideal so i'm going to be putting a mask clamp with a ram horn on it and uh first thing i'm just going to open this up to have it prepped take that off open one side up get this over and on and the big thing to watch out for when installing these is clearance from hydro you want to stay 12 inches or more i like to be around 16 inches or whatever you can i need a deeper one of these but this is um a number 18 mil that fits on there okay so we got the drop got a hanger Coming off on a 90 degree angle. Both horns of the ram horn. Make sure tension's good, looks good there. Do a drip loop. There we go. Okay, now you grab the drop in the orientation you're gonna put it in. Did you open the nib? Okay. Open the nib. Pull. Okay, stop. Yep. So at this point, you want to check your orientation. Everything looks good. Can go a little bit more. Happy with that. You have enough there? You have enough there? Uh, yeah, okay. We don't have that much, so it's okay. Okay. Looks good there. Here. You see me do it so much. You've seen me do it so many times. Yep. Okay, put these zip ties here. Put that away. And everything's good here. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, just put it back on. And we're Gucci.
Okay, down at the nib. Let's see how Buddy stripped this. So far, so good. We're a little short on drop, but the next size after this is 100 meters. So is it worth wasting 45 meters or 47 meters just to get an extra arm length? No, it is not. Not needed. It's also loose in there so they can pull it more if needed. All of this ground is not needed. But. Everything went as smooth and as planned. That loose strand was a little sketchy, but... Stuff that other clear curve back in. This is a good opportunity to show uh, how these work on these cable TV boxes that have a lock. So these are from Amazon. It's uh, just a, a cat TV or a cable TV lock box. You push it in and then you unscrew. You watching? So that, that's the lock there that comes out, right? So now the door opens, then you put it back in. It just screws back in. Once it's tight, you pull this back and it releases these little teeth so you just pop it in unscrew and then to come out okay. okay it's good to have definitely sometimes these boxes are above here and you can't get your drop straight through to the bottom box so you have to open this first and if that happens and you don't have this then you're kind of shit out of luck i've had to cut these because they're in the way and it's just not pretty but anyways this drop is pretty much done it's got to write the info take some pictures and uh yeah Thanks for watching, another drop done.